The traditional 60-40 portfolio is not a hedge against Bitcoin. The hedge against Bitcoin is buying guns and ammo. What do I mean here? If Bitcoin breaks, it's likely that the internet breaks or a totalitarian global government severely cracks down on individual property rights. In both cases, the world probably isn't a great place and very bad things are likely happening. If the internet suddenly breaks due to a massive solar flare or broken cryptographic primitives, then your diversified portfolio full of big tech likely won't perform too well. I mean, practically every company in the S&P 500 would collapse if the internet and telecommunications suddenly broke for an extended period of time. And if the government is starting to confiscate individual property, then inflation is probably rampant and Bitcoin is deemed valuable enough to confiscate. It'd be much easier to confiscate immovable houses or public equities locked in your brokerage account. So yes, of course there's a scenario in which Bitcoin does fail. There are many scenarios in which it fails. However, most of these scenarios likely lead to the traditional financial system collapsing as well, which in that case, you shouldn't necessarily hedge your Bitcoin position with the 60-40 portfolio. You should hedge your Bitcoin position with guns and ammo if you're really that pessimistic. But Bitcoin is for optimists. You hold Bitcoin because you expect the world to be a better place, and you want to hold money so you can have the future optionality to purchase things sometime down the road. If the economy is collapsing, money itself is worthless. Bitcoin is for accelerators, engineers, blue and white collar workers, families, Republicans, Democrats, and libertarians, Bitcoin is for everyone that has hope in a better future. It's just better money. Thanks for watching, everyone, and see you next time.